Um, but if I just click on study, it will essentially open up So now those we're cards. seeing what the students yeah. will see. So, so now we're studying um, live, if you like. Yeah. And the question there is, which was in that first column, says what do we mean by the term encoding? And what the student does here is try and work out the answer to that in their head. Right. So um, encoding refers to how we store information in memory. Okay. Uh, that's, that's the answer. It's a very simple definition. So I can now reveal the answer. And it says encoding refers to how we store information in memory. I, I remember that almost word for word, yeah. which is a surprise. Um, so what it does now is you've got this color coding in the bottom for self-assessment. Um, from how well did you remember this? One, not at all all the way up through to five perfectly. Now mine was a virtual perfect uh, recognition of that, so I'm gonna click on number five. And what that does is it now stores that information over here as blue, right. which is perfectly remembered. Um, give two ways, second question, give two ways in which information could be encoded, define each. So I'm going to pretend now that I'm not too sure. So I know it's sound, but I can't remember the key term. Um, I know you can restore stuff visually, but I don't know if it's the term visually. Let's have a look. I'm going to reveal the answer. Uh, here they are. Acoustically, semantically, procedurally, visually, phonologically, and episodically. Right. Now, in a, in a test, I would need to be able to define those. So in this, I want to be able to define each of them in my head. Acoustically refers to storing memory of sound, semantically for the meaning, procedural. And then yeah. I can pretend now, I, I, right, I can't remember all of them. So I sort of knew it. Right. So I'm going to say, um, well, I slightly knew that information. I'm just going to give myself a two. I'm going to be harsh on myself. And over here now, you can see that that's been coded as orange. Now, what will happen when I've been through all of the, the, the cards the orange one will return far more frequently than the blue yes. one. The blue one will return, but perhaps after I've been through the cards three or four times, because yeah. I said I knew it perfectly. Okay, thank you for that. So, yeah, we've had a robot situation lesson two tonight at rehearsal. Um, yeah, 30 seconds, we knew that perfectly. What's capacity of short term memory? Um, five to nine items. Yeah, so plus one, so I knew that. Uh, one study that investigated capacity, mm, I think it was called Miller, Miller's study, I think, did, or was it Miller's? Oh, I'm not really sure. Reveal the answer. Oh, it was Miller, but I didn't really know that. I was guessing, I think. Yeah, I'm going to go for not at all, actually. I, I didn't know that. What's the duration of the century, century memory store? Um, one to three seconds. Mm. Right, I've now seen all the cards in WMM and Forgetting, right. so I'm going to continue studying. Right. Okay, and what will happen now, it's, it's coded down here as blue, so I knew this one. Um, what do we mean by the term encoding? Uh, yeah, I still know that really well. Name one slave system, so it's telling me where I am in, in the system here, it's going back through an order until it works out where my understanding is. It's not giving me the blue ones as frequently because obviously I've yeah. said that I, I know those. So yeah. it's bringing back, I mean, if I go to blue, what will happen? If I answered everyone perfectly, you'll see now that the purple's gone. So the next one I would expect to see is probably yellow. Right. Um, so let's have a look very well. Yeah, here comes a yellow one. Yeah. Because that was one that I remembered okay. sort of, you know, what, what, half and what's half. What's happening when you click down here? It's giving me the option of re-self-assessing. Oh, I see, okay. Because right. it's come back again, name yeah. one slave system. Oh yes, yeah. now I remember episodic buffer, visual, yeah. spatial sketch pad, phonological loop. Right. So now I can say, yeah, I do know it. I've, I've so got these it. questions you're getting yeah. are by and large the ones that you were weak on earlier. Is that, that's the way yeah, it's absolutely. working, isn't it? Yeah, and the weaker I was on it, the more frequently they return. Brilliant. And, and, and the sooner they return. And obviously the, the point is to try with each question to turn them all blue to get 100% yes. yeah. mastery. It's about building the habits in there with the students of post-test, when before we get to retest it, yeah. is going back on yeah. and just going through until they know it off by heart. So that's Brilliant. The, that's, that's the point of it, really. And, and they can download this onto any Android device, basically, can't they? Yeah.